Welcome to my presentation on Tom's and founder Blake Mykoski. Tom's mission statement is using business to improve lives. Tom's Shoe Company um, is a for-profit company that started in 2006 by Blake Mykoski. Its creation was based on the idea of giving back. Blake Mykoski participated in the show The Amazing Race, and it was on that show that he had his first glimpse of Argentina. Later on, he had interest in learning polo and found a polo camp in Buenos Aires. While he was there, he met a few volunteers who were collecting shoes from wealthy areas in Buenos Aires, and they were then distributing those collected shoes to impoverished areas in the region. Blake wanted to help. So he went with volunteers a few days later and spent the day fitting shoes onto poor children's feet. He was inspired. However, uh, the problem he, that was brought to his attention by helping these individuals was what will these children's, children do in a few months when those shoes wear out? Blake wanted to keep the donations coming. He considered establishing a nonprofit. But his experience told him that nonprofits maintain the public's attention for only a few years. Plus, he didn't want to rely solely on donations. He knew he wanted to hire quality employees, which often meant paying higher salaries. Nonprofits are also under scrutiny and regulation by government, so for him, for profit was the way to go. The unique and innovative idea he had for his time was the one for one model. He wanted a simple system of giving, and what easier way was there to keep track than for each shoe sold, one was donated. He chose a comfortable, familiar style shoe for the Argentinians, the Al Alpargata, um, and knowing he wanted to make an impact, he considered the name Shoes for Tomorrow. Then it became Tomorrow's Shoes. And to fill it, fit it all on one tag on the shoe, which was a pretty tiny tag, he converted it to Tom's. Tom's was a rapid success. After an article was written about this small startup by the LA Times, consumers flocked to the company. They had a hero product that many loved, and the feeling of giving back because of the one-for-one -one model was tangible. By 2013, Tom's had donated over 10 million pairs of shoes, Tom's continued to utilize the design thinking model to find more reach for their social responsibility. Blake worked with his staff to think outside the box and influence more good across the world. He continued to identify needs around the world and innovate products to give back. They came up with backpacks. That, those were created to help mothers be able to have safe and healthy birth, births of their children. For every backpack sold, one mother would be helped. Sunglasses. Those were created to help give the gift of sight. For every pair of sunglasses sold, one individual in need would receive necessary surgery to remove things like cataracts so they could see again. Tom's Roasting Company stated for every bag of coffee sold, one week's worth of clean water would be donated to a developing area. Tom's was the first company of its kind with its sole purpose to focus on helping those in need. And after seeing their success, many companies took off with this idea. For-profit companies like Smile Squared and Blanket America were started. Other established companies like Unilever and Walgreens started programs to give, up, give back as well. The one-for-one -one model that Blake Mykoski came up with was an ingenious idea many businesses wanted to try. Tom's struggled in a few different ways. So Tom's focused for too long on their hero product, the Alpargata style shoe. By the time they tried out other directions and products, consumers were consumed with the idea that Tom's represented only a canvas shoe style from 2006. Plus the shoe design was super simple, so it was easy to copy. Many companies created similar shoes and just priced them cheaper. Skechers even created bobs strikingly similar to Tom's, and promised two pairs of shoes donated for every one purchase. 
Starting as a for-profit, Tom's went the direction from the beginning of selling wholesale, meaning they would sell to distributors or other companies. Because of this, they couldn't control their pricing, their inventory, advertising, and that all affected their profit margins. In December of 2019, Tom's company was sold to creditors when a large loan was coming due that they were unable to pay. Tom's did hire a team of outside researchers um, to find out about the impact Tom's made on society in 2010. Unfortunately, the results were they made a nominal impact. It was insignificant. The study that Tom's uh, reached out to a university in California to perform uh, didn't have the best results. So one thing that Tom's failed to see they failed to look at the root cause of the various poverty issues they were trying to um, focus on. The donation of shoes was a great idea to help with immediate need, but the giving created a need that would only be delayed a short time. So once the study was completed in 2010, Tom's received the results, and the results showed one thing in per particular that stood out, and that is that individuals who were helped by the company, by Tom's, um, they were 10% more likely to say after being after receiving assistance that others should provide for their families. That's a big statement. So gratefully, with the results of this impact study, uh, Tom's decided to use the information and spur further growth and innovation. After receiving the results of the study, Tom's decided to branch out. So they struggled financially and sold half of the company to Bain Capital in 2016. Um, and that is when they really decided to focus and streamline their processes so that they could become profitable again. Tom's mission changed to using business to improve lives. And they decided to start looking at other so social enterprises and organizations um, and assisting them in making more of an impact. After finding out that Tom's created very little impact globally, Tom started the Social Entrepreneurship Fund. This fund was intended to help similar-minded individuals who are looking to give back to the communities through innovative ideas and business models. An investor paid a large chunk of money to Tom's. It was more than they actually needed, so they had the idea to take half of that money and invest it into other social enterprises. That's where this fund was created. In 2016, Tom's also started giving trips. These trips were fully funded by Tom's. Once a year, they would gather a group of employees and take them to a developing country. There, they would perform service. These trips were meant to inspire employees and give them a chance to see the impact they could have on individuals and communities around the world and hopefully bring that innovation back home with them. In 2018, there was an expansion to the Social Entrepreneurship Fund this expansion was Impact Grants Program. The Impact Grants allowed like-minded individuals to remain full owners while also receiving a boost to start their organization or to boost them in the right direction. In my research, I have found that Tom's has room for improvement. Currently, Tom's has Impact Grants and they have potential to create huge impact. The idea is smart. Help fund others' dreams of impacting society in big ways. These grants prevent Tom's from overstretching to too many causes of their own. However, the grants currently only fund for a single year. There is no option for reapplication. What if they opened it up for that? Sometimes these grants might give a company a good starting point. But what if later on down the road they want to expand their vision? They should have a chance to reapply. Reapplication could have more difficult stipulations to ensure money isn't wasted, but they should be given that opportunity. Also, in my research, I found that the impact grants have only been given in two countries, the United States and the United Kingdom. Tom should consider expanding their focus outside of the United States. Internationally, these grants could help individuals make impacts in their own communities, with, even within developing countries. Having individuals help where they live 
would ensure understanding of cultural dynamics and also would uh, these individuals would have firsthand knowledge of struggles which would lead to more realistic solutions. This second improvement, they could narrow their focus. So Tom's has shoes, eyewear, backpacks, and more in order to gain revenue. With these products, they help with maternity care, bullying prevention, domestic violence, vision impairment, and more. What if they focused on just one or two causes? and actually work toward eradicating them. They would make a much larger impact. And once those causes are eradicated, they could move on to the next one. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more about this innovative company, Tom's, and its founder, Blake Mykoski.